a lifetime of juvenile diabetes. Juvenile diabetes, or type 1 diabetes, is considered an autoimmune disease. There isn't a cure as yet, so its conditions will last a lifetime. Research continues in order to discover the causes of diabetes in children, with hopes of finding the precursors and the cure. Generally speaking, the human body uses insulin to regulate the sugar, or glucose, that flows through the bloodstream. When the child's pancreas cannot provide enough insulin, or is incapable of producing insulin, the child will be diagnosed with juvenile diabetes. Some researchers believe that the child is genetically predisposed to insulin deficiency. Others believe that there may well be genetic factors, but environmental factors or a contracted virus that damages certain beta cells in the pancreas has caused the onset of the disease. The common symptoms are increased hunger, thirst, urination and weight loss. When the patient becomes ill and is diagnosed with juvenile diabetes, it is crucial that treatment begins at once. The child, if old enough, must be taught to take the disease seriously, change their diet to avoid sugar spikes and lows, and learn how to administer insulin in case an adult is not available to help them. A question like what is type 1 diabetes is usually followed with questions about treatment. Insulin levels have to be checked regularly and insulin shots or inhalers have to be used to administer the drug into the bloodstream. Home monitoring devices have made it easier for diabetes sufferers to check their own blood samples. It is also recommended to keep a logger journal with each blood sugar check. This careful monitoring of glucose level in the bloodstream will help the doctor adjust the amount of insulin to the individual's needs. A person may have high blood sugar or low blood sugar during any part of the day or night, so being aware of feeling unwell is important. High blood sugar in the short term causes fatigue, and in the long term it can damage the organs in the body. Low blood sugar can bring on seizures, unconsciousness or coma, leading to death if not treated immediately. Researchers continue to look for a way to prevent a cure juvenile diabetes. Right now there is hope for success in an experimental transplantation of pancreatic islet cells, which have the necessary beta cells for insulin production. The chances of finding a genetic cure for diabetes in children is not an impossible feat. But until then at least there is a chance of a diabetic's quality of life. With careful monitoring of the disease, 